good morning students today i am going to solve problem on method of separation of variable our students method of separation of variables let us see the problem using method of separation of variables solve uxt that is equal to e power minus t cos x with u of x comma 0 is equal to 0 and u of 0 comma t is equal to 0 u of 0 comma t is equal to 0 solution solution what is given in the equation students given equation u x t what students u x t u x t means do square u by do x do t what students do, do square u by do x do t that is equal to e power minus t cos x e power minus t cos x say so this is one students moreover given a condition students say u of uh, x comma 0 that is equal to 0 say so this is 2 and u of 0 comma t that is equal to 0 say so this is 3 these are the given condition students and the equation. Now, what he says method of separation of variables, right on students, method of, by method of separation of variables. What is, it, what is dependent variable here students? U u that is equal to what are the independent variables x t students so x of x into t of t t of t now from 1 so this is 3 students sorry 4 from 1 from 1 do square u by do x do t that means here u means x t students do u by do x that means x dash into t dash that is equal to e power minus t cos x e power minus t cos x now cross multiply t dash and cos x students we get here x dash by cos x that is equal to e power minus t by t dash e power minus t by t dash now these two equations are equal means the, these are equal to some constant students say k say k now take first one students x dash by cos x that is equal to k x dash by cos x that is equal to k and second one students e power minus t by t dash that is equal to k that is equal to k now solve first one students so x dash that is equal to k cos x k cos x simply integrate students integrating integrating now x dash means students x dash means do u by do x x dash means do x by x do x students so that means so integration derivative cancel students so we get here x that is equal to that is equal to k into k is constant integral of cos x dx plus c c1 so that is equal to integral of cos x is sin x so sin x sin x into k plus c1 so this is the solution of x students x now second one students cross multiply it we get here t dash into k that is equal to e power minus t here also simply integrating or students integrating we get here t dash means derivative students so integration derivative cancel we get here k into t that is equal to integral of e power minus t is e power minus t by minus 1 plus c2 plus c2 now we cross multiply students we get here t is equal to e power minus t into here we have minus 1 students so minus uh, minus 1 by k plus c2 by k take another arbitrary constant students says so c3 c3 now substitute 
substitute in in four students in four we get we get substitute in four these two values substitute in four we get so u is equal to u is equal to x students sin x into k that means k sin x plus c1 into here students uh, t into e power minus t by minus k k plus c3 c3 say so this is a uh, five students five now from two from condition two uh, here u of x comma zero is equal to zero students so u of uh, this value is zero here x value as it is students t value is zero so k sin x plus c1 into e power zero students e power zero value one so minus one by k plus c3 plus c3 say students here this is solution this is solution so this value is not equal to zero students so which value is zero students c3 minus 1 by k that is equal to 0 therefore c3 value is 1 by k c3 value is 1 upon k okay now see third condition students from 3 from 3 again u of 0 this time x value 0 t value as it is students so the value resultant is 0 so left right left hand side value is 0 so this time x value 0 students x value 0 so sin 0 0 so we get as c1 e power sorry c1 into e power minus t by minus k plus c3 c3 this time students this is solution which value is 0 students c1 value is 0 c1 value is 0 so substitute these two values in 5 we get we get come on students u that is equal to k sin x c1 value 0 into minus e power minus t by k c3 value 1 by k plus 1 by k now taking count 1 by k students k k cancel we get here finally sin x into minus e power minus t plus 1 this is the required solution of given problem students once again students see this problem is very very important students do it carefully so given an equation here u x t u x t means dot square u by dot x dot t ok students simply write the method of separation of variables apply and you write u is equal to x of x and t of t ok substitute in one ok now we separate the variables separate the value simply integrating here then you get x and t values substitute x and t values here okay by using these two conditions we get the values of c1 and c3 simply again substitute and simplify it then we get u value u value let us see another problem on method of separation of variable student let us see the problem students so 4 into dou u by dou x plus dou u by dou y that is equal to 3 u given that u of 0 comma y that is equal to 3 e power minus y minus e power minus 5 y e power minus 5 y this problem also important students do it carefully ok solution what is given students what is given 4 into dou u by dou x plus dou u by dou y that is equal to 3 u say this is 1 students and uh, given condition of students so u 0 comma y that is equal to 3 e power minus y minus e power minus 5 y say this is 2 students this is 2 say it say simply some students that means we are applying here students method of separation of variables what students method of separation of variables so method of 
separation of variables what is dependent variable students u that is equal what are the independent variables x and y so x of x into y of y x of x into y of y say this is 3 students this is 3 now substitute in one student so from 1 from 1 4 into do u by do x do u by do x means x dash into y plus do u by do y that means x into y dash that is equal to 3 into u u means x y u means x y students now you transpose this x y dash to the right hand side students so we get your 4 x dash y that is equal to here we have x and we have x students so taking common x we get here 3 y minus y dash 3 y minus y dash now again you cross multiply y and here x students so we get here 4 x dash by x that is equal to 3 y minus y dash by y say whenever these two equations are equal that means here equal to constants say k now take first one students 4 x dash by x that is equal to k now what is second equation students 3 y minus y dash by y that is equal to k k now uh, you, you cross multiply we get here 4 x dash that is equal to k x students k x k x No students, you, you do it one thing here. You don't cross multiply. Cross multiply four students. Four. Now simply integrate students. Integrating. Integrating. Integral x dash by x into dx. That is equal to integral k by 4 dx plus a. Plus a. Now we get here. Integral of x dash by x means here students log x that is equal to k by 4 into x plus a. Now x is equal students e power e power so uh, e power k by 4 into x into e power a say it is uh, uh, b students b okay right. Now he come coming to here, you simply cross multiply y, we get here 3 y minus y dash that is equal to y k. And you transpose uh, this transpose for left hand side and this transpose right hand side. So you get a finally y dash is equal to 3 taking common y 3 minus k into y. 3 minus k into y. Simply integrating students. Simply no. Again you cross multiply it. We get here y dash by y that is equal to 3 minus k. Now integrating. Our students now integrating. We get here integral y dash by y into dy that is equal to integral 3 minus k into dy. Plus this term says c1 students c1. So we get here log y that is equal to 3 minus k into y plus c1 now y is equal to say this is c students e power c1 we get c so e power 3 minus k into y 3 minus k into y now substitute these values uh, substitute these two values in 3 students substitute in 3 we get we get u is equal to u is equal to x value students uh, say here we have constants bc bc e power k by 4 x k by 4 x into e power 3 minus k 3 minus k into y 3 minus k into y say this is uh, 4 students 4 
now from to from to okay students what are the left hand side value right hand side value 3 e power minus y minus e power minus y right down here students 3 e power minus y minus e power minus 5y minus 5y that is equal to see students x value 0 here so x value 0 so we get a b c into e power 0 value is 1 so e power 3 minus k into y 3 minus k into y now take first term to first term students say comparing on both sides compare compare now if you compare first one so bc is equal to 3 bc is equal to 3 and here we have minus 1 so that is equal here we have 3 minus k that implies k is equal to 4 students k is equal to 4 now if I compare the second term students second term so now bc is equal to minus 1 and uh, here we have minus 5 that is equal to 3 minus k that implies k is equal to 8 students k is equal to 8 now from 4 substitute in 4 u is equal to bc value students 3 k value students 4 4 by 4 that means e power x here are 4 students 3 minus 4 minus 1 so minus y so e power x e power minus y so you get here e power x minus y plus plus now this time bc value students minus 1 so you write here minus 1 minus so this time e power k value 8 students 8 by 4 2 2x into here students uh, 3 minus 3 minus 8 minus 5 so minus 5y students so 2x minus 5y this is the required solution of given problem students this is the required solution of given problem once again students this is also simple but uh, you do it carefully here students it is very very important part do it carefully here once again students the given condition so right in the product of the independent variables you simply separate the variables you got x value and y value and substitute it here and then can apply the condition and simplify it then finally got u value students finally you got u value hope you understand students please like this video and share it thank you thank you for watching this video Jai Hind.